Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Will of a Thousand's Nightfall, which is the Zol Strike. We're using Bottom Tree, the Ox Rider subclass. I'm using Outbreak Perfected, Tartara Gaze, which is the Black Armory Sniper, and Zenobia D. I've got double rocket launcher reserves on, and I'm using the Raiden Flux. We're using a, we're doing it with a score multiplier of 3.7, which is achieved with Oxinge, Heavyweight, Momentum, and Match Game. So, ever since I've had the Outbreak Perfected, I've wanted to do a high score run with it, but I've been that busy uh, doing the other two characters, so I've got all three solos on the channel now, and I've been helping a lot of people get this gun. So, along with family stuff, this is really the first time I've had a chance to do it, and it kind of was a marriage made in heaven, because I play predominantly on PlayStation, and I've, I, I'd never done this as a high score on PlayStation. Outbreak Perfected is, I think it's a very, very good weapon. And I think, keeping it in context, it is a very good weapon. But it's very good because it's a primary. You know, we're not talking about a melting machine that, you know, it does melt. There's no two ways about it. There's no denying that it's... But in the context of it being a primary, it just adds to its appeal. You know? It really does. And it, it, it really does a lot of damage for a primary. And this is without... I haven't I haven't got the the catalyst and I'm unsure I'm unsure about my progress. I've done a couple of heroics. I'll do another one tomorrow. I, ha I never went bothered going for the ship just yet. Uh and after seeing what the ship looks like, I'm not missing out, but I think I need it for progression for the catalyst. So, yeah, we're going to have to go for it and delete it because it's 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 an ugly ship. Uh, I'm not going to speak because it's on my mind constantly because I'm actively making a, a video on it about the state of the game. And re uh, I was going to make a super video a while ago and then I stopped because I went through that thing where I didn't think anybody would be interested in my take on it. And in that super video, I was talking about how people... Pe how how the, the problem with supers, one of the problems is... The exotic support they get is literally, if it gives you a super back, people will use it. I didn't make the video. This was about six weeks ago, and now look what's happened. So I feel like I, I this is in my realm. You know, they're nerfing a lot of PVE weapons and, and PVE setups. So, yeah, <clears throat> I feel like I've got something to say on it. And I, I, I'm very passionate about what's happened over the past week. So check that video out. It's going to be out for Friday. 100% because <clears throat> we're quite far along with it now. Uh, but yeah, the, the Zenobia D. We can, we'll can we we'll go with it. I love the Outbreak Perfected. We'll go with the Zenobia D right after the Outbreak. That, that, that jump shot should never have went as far right. They're ridiculous. When I, when I fired it, I thought to myself, what's going on there? The Outbreak Perfected is a very good weapon. The... And obviously the the zero hour is for me the perfect type of content I would like to see making its way more often than not into the game. We had Whisper a year ago, which I'm not going to say any more on that. We had Whisper a year ago, and and, and it it rejuvenated our belief that Destiny could still make these experiences, that Bungie could still create these experiences, and they went wrong. This zero hour is a masterpiece, and I love the fact that the heroic the jumping puzzle, is different to the normal. I love that. That's very cool. Uh, we're just staying at the back of the map here. Sorry, just just a little bit about this. We're staying at the back of the map. We got the ogre. This is the, this is the boss we've got here, which means in the second real kind of ad room, not the next one where we've, we've got, we get knights or a wizard. We get knights, but you can get a wizard there. The next kind of place where we can get a big boss, we're going to get the ogre again. So, I, I I actually prefer the ogre. I really don't like it when, when when you get the shrieker. I just feel like the shrieker is a lot harder to fight against. I mean, it's it's, it's not too difficult. I've got a sniper. I've got an arc sniper on. So, the shrieker would have went down, you know, pretty quick. But, uh, I, I, I stay at the back. I stay up here. If you push... Especially because we've got momentum on. Yes, you will get your health back, but in the times you've kind of got it back away or your, your progress has stopped or you, you're hit with one of those solar bombs, 
you won't regenerate health and they can kill you. So I attack from the back, all the way up the, the back, use my rockets. I use rockets more more uh, readily because you do drop a lot of heavy in this strike. So the Outbreak Prime, yeah, I, I, I love it. And when, we get the cat when I get the Catalyst, it's probably going to be even more of a melt machine. But the weapon I was most happy about using... And I've seen it in the vault, I've had it in the vault, I've used it a lot, is the Zenobia D. The intrinsic perk, for anybody that doesn't know, it's intrinsic. Every single Zenobia D that you will drop in the game will have it as the intrinsic. And if you go to the weapon frame, if you look at the weapon frame, that's where you'll see it. Every Zenobia D tracks. So if you get one with a cluster perk, it means you've got a cluster cluster tracking soul, uh, arc rocket launcher. So, very cool. That there are solar arc and void tracking cluster rocket launchers in the game. Great. It's just the solar one I think is like the procured version from Scourge, I think. But it's still in the game. I would like to see a solar rocket launcher with tracking and cluster come into the game. Uh that's that you don't have to go in and beat the raid to get. But people have been sleeping on the Zenobia for so long. That uh, I, I, I hazard a guess that there's a few people who might watch this video that might not realise that the Zenobia tracks with Cluster. And it's tracking is relatively aggressive. So it's it, keep a lookout for it. It's very good. And I've got a boss spec on mine which does a lot of damage, a lot of damage to Zop. So as you can see, once once we took out the ads that were in the room, we'll just finish that night off. Uh, I'm going to use the Outbreak. I've just ran away to get some health back. And as you can see... When it attaches the nanites, just look how much damage it increases. It's just, it's ridiculous for a primary. But once we take down the ads that were in the room, now I come, I used to go a different place, but now I come down the centre part for when the the next wave of ads spawn in. And then, I, you know, they've got far that you run at me and I'm not so enclosed. I take out all the ads from around the outside, I make my way around, and then you're going to get these knights. Now, you can get a wizard here. Uh, we I didn't, but I th I even even with uh, I'm wondering that even with match game on, I think I didn't do it here because we we had we we just had knights. But if you dodge before you attack, you do more damage because you leave an arc damage field after every hit. So I think if I'd have dodged with the wizard, I think the arc strider would have took the wizard out. It just might not have took the knights out. So it's luck of the draw. This is this is literally this was my second run. And I had to leave my first run because my fault. I will apologise to the boy. I'll I'll message him later. But I, I was doing a run and a a guy who is I, I randomly on my friends list joined my fire team because I'd for, because I was playing with my clan and what have you. Uh, we uh we put I put my my profile on on the. Uh, Visible. I normally have it as offline so people can't see what I'm doing. And I had it that he could have joined my fire team. So he just randomly jumped in. And I was like, oh man. So I just took myself to orbit, kicked him from the fire team, uh, and made myself offline and invite only. So the next run was this. And I can't believe how well the weapons performed in here. Because they were literally were just like, I need some art weapons. I'll take the Tartar Gaze in. I've always enjoyed that. Oh, there's an OBID. And I always knew I was going to use the Outbreak Perfected. I was always going to do it because from the minute I got it, I wanted to see how it performed. I've seen people melting strike bosses. Uh, you can melt a strike boss with the, with the Rattler. <laughs> you know, the sidearm you get from the gunsmith. It's a strike boss. How would it perform in a nightfall? How would it perform in a high score? And I have to say, super impressed. It's becoming my new favourite primary. And what's it gonna? What, how am I gonna feel about it when I get the catalyst? I tell you, how I'm gonna feel about it. I'm gonna delete that ship straight away. <laughs> when I get that ship, that ship's going. So, in the room we've just come out of, the room where we fought the second ogre, the doorway that you go into the room from, you can back into that for cover. If you're feeling overawed, you can stay near the door and you can back in. I wanted to see if this was the same. It, it wasn't. But we took a lot of the acolytes out first, so we've got this night. Get your rocket out. Back away. I would suggest just going into the room because you know what's going to happen now. Make sure you rock at that night. 
reload so that you don't jump out to fire at an ogre with no rocket in. So it takes two rockets to kill this ogre. So we're going to do a bit of a bit of a run because, unfortunately, and it's something I've never liked doing in my runs. You know, I like to have repeatable strategies that anybody can do. But unfortunately, this part, because it is, and you can see, you're just being pushed by all manner of uglies. You need to take the ogre out first. So you've got to do a bit of movement, keep getting your health back, keep running. Make it back to this side and clear this side. Now, the knights will follow you up here. So take the knights. There's three of them. And then, if, like me, you've managed to take them relatively easily. Keep pushing with your super around the corner and take as many of these acolytes out that are around the, around the sides. Once you've done that, go back to where you first popped your super, the right hand side. And the reason why you, I'm going to throw a grenade there, which should take those, those guys out. You're going to go up here because it's clear. Nothing's going to push you. So we're going to use Work Break Prime, clear up some of these little lads. And then we're going to go after that wanted because as you can see, I'm dropping heaps of heavy so i don't mind popping popping this guy with, with 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 quite a few quite a few rockets because i missed him on the first first shot because he dodged out the way now what's the point of having a, 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 a tracking rocket launcher if ads can dodge well like most rockets that, that track you actually have to get the track into proc before it'll track and i didn't do that so there he is he's gone We've got one acolyte left, which I actually thought I killed the acolyte and not, not the boss. I was waiting for him to pop out over the other side. As you can see, I killed him. <clears throat> We've got one acolyte left. Now we're going to go and pick up with heavy and go into, believe it or not, what I consider to be the trickiest part of this. Which is this room coming up. And the reason I can, because the boss is absolutely so easy to do. And once you see it, you'll be like, oh, he... He has kind of made that look easy. I haven't. It is that easy. Now, because we've got match game on, and the Valkyrie obviously isn't arc, I'm just trying to do some damage to help myself. I've got a Valkyrie. I'm going to use it. We do actually kill one of these guys, though. But it doesn't break their shields. This is one of the main reasons I brought in an arc sniper. Now, sniping's, sniping for me is good anytime. But having it here... Where we are going to be doing some ranged damage. And the reason why I say this this is one of the trickiest parts for me personally. Is, be is because of this. They've got, a v you've got, you both, you and the ads have got a very small window to aim through. So it's focused fire. And it's arc focused fire. So you are going to get hurt. You just have to be careful. Now, there is another shielded knight up top, but there's a couple of thrall. We're going to take out the thrall. I can see I've got a brick of heavy down at the bottom, so we're all good for heavy. We need to have, as in with any of these high scores, you ideally want to have full heavy when you hit the boss. So we'll take these last ones out, uh, and then we'll fire a rocket up at the shielded knight, and that should take everything out up there. We'll pick up our rockets, see how many we get. We've got six, we've, and then we get eight. Perfect. And there's just one acolyte up here, and then we're at the boss. What we're going to do at the boss is we're going to get him some cover behind this box. There's a box we're going to get behind. So we can use that to dodge in and out to fire rockets, because the boss will still do his solar attack, which is because we've got momentum on, we won't be regenerating more health. We can't waste time running about to get health. So dodge in and out to fire your rockets. You'll put the boss with six rockets. I fire seven just to be on the safe side, but you'll see six rockets puts them in his last stand. Pop your super, take out the ogres, go to the back, fire the last rocket. And that's the boss killed. And it's, it looks like this. This is the box that you hide behind. You get off your rockets. Six or seven, I fire seven as I say, but six will do it. Pop your super when the ogres come out. Remember to dodge and do that damage field on every hit and then run to the back fire your last rocket if he's going to stand there showing you showing you the tonsils put a rocket in his mouth because you'll do a lot of damage not because it's a crit point but because the cluster will will, will hit everything 
So that would have been the last rocket I should have needed to fire. He went into his last stand, but I fired one just in case. So I was going to run away and realize the ads are coming out. Why am I running away? Get over to the ads, pop your super, dodge, and then go for the ads. And you should be able to clear this little area out. No problem at all. And then go to the back and fire another rocket and it's game's over. And that's the run. Very easy. As I said, there's nothing really complicated about this doing this high score. You know, the boss is probably the easiest boss to do, to be fair. I couldn't believe how easy it was. And that's the run. Done and dusted. High score. I think the score should stop now. I think the minute the boss dies, the timer should stop. And that's the video. That is the run. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, any any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'm always, I'll always reply. If at all possible, I'll reply. And I, I nearly always reply. Uh, if you think other people might enjoy this, a share would be fantastic. You wouldn't believe how, how helpful that would be. I never ask people to do that, but, well, why not? And, you but you're just watching the video is always going to be enough for me. I've always appreciated the support I get. I will continue to strive to be worthy of your support. Check the video out on Friday about the nerfs. I won't speak too much about it anymore. I'm not going to say any more. And if you haven't already, come and have a look at me on Twitter. Engage in some conversation. And I will see you guys in the next video.